also strengthening the greenhouse effect by deforestation, which means cutting down trees. Every year, enormous areas of forests are destroyed by people to obtain food and to clear regions for mining and to create pasture. This loss of the forest causes dual problems. Trees that are burned down release a large volume of carbon dioxide gas into the air. On the other hand, an important carbon dioxide storehouse is destroyed with the forest as forests absorb a lot of carbon dioxide from the air and deliver oxygen instead. Lesson 4. Fish population is in serious danger from global warming. Climate change is increasing the water temperature in rivers, lakes and seas. This means there is less food and oxygen available for fish. It also means the fish may not grow fully and may have fewer offsprings. Some fishes will become extinct if temperatures rise even by one or two degrees. Climate change increases the pressure on fish population. Fishes are one of the world's most valuable biological assets. 40% of people in the world eat fish as their main source of protein. If we fail to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, we will increase the pressures on fish. As a result, people who depend on fish will suffer from hunger and poverty. Lesson 5. A Friend of the Earth Let's save our planet. Everyone must play a part in protecting the environment. There are many things you can do on your own every day to help save the planet. Here are some suggestions. <laughs> 